ओके गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर आर डी कोडिंग एफ एम जी सोल्यूशन मेडिसिन जी आई डी पार्ट सो स्पेशल थैंक्स टू डॉक्टर सिराज अहमद एंड डॉक्टर दीपक मारवा फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम सो स्टार्टिंग विद फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्रोनिक अल्कोहलिक सो अगेन वी हैव वन मिनट टाइम वी नॉट वेस्ट मच ऑफ योर टाइम सो मैं आपको आई ट्राई टू मेक द करेक्ट आंसर इन वन मिनट सो फर्स्ट टेंट इज क्रोनिक अल्कोहलिक patient with cld present with sudden onset hematemesis now understand malady vis bore of both can present with hematemesis but again this will have acute history so these the two are ruled out ruled out when they are mentioning the word cld chronic liver disease it means it's a chronic disease so in cld what happened there is portal hypertension and this portal hypertension will lead to formation of varices and sometime these uh, uh, veins of esophagus means varices they may bleed so answer will be esophageal bleeding varices a perforation peptic ulcer that uh, rarely present with hematemesis and again a patient may not have history of cld so answer is esophageal bleeding varices just two more uh, things i can uh, suggest you here they ask you like how you will prevent so px is prophylaxis so for prophylaxis of varicel bleed we give propranolol and how you will treat these varicel bleed so we can give injection of octreotide so if octreotide is not available then alternative to this we can use terlipressin and even if this fail the last option will be it is endoscopic band ligation this is varicel band ligation clear okay next one a patient is identified as having a tumor in ileum so whenever uh, they see something uh, in the mcq ileum means we should think of tumor in the ileum it could be like a cancer of ileum or it could be a carcinoid in the ileum right or it could be metastasis in the ileum leading to urinary 5hia 5 hydroxy indol acetic acid so carcinoid is a topic which is frequently repeated in fmg exam very very important so just remember 5 hydroxy indol acetic acid the answer will be carcinoid so it's basically a urinary marker so in neuroblastoma you can see elevation of vma leiomyoma is most common benign tumor of your gi tract again chromaffinoma is tumor of chromaffin cells so answer is carcinoid just one more thing uh, this is like a future mcq expected question they can ask carcinoid tumor what is the marker in the blood so in blood it's having sensitivity to a marker called chromogranin so this will be the futuristic mcq so carcinoid how you will diagnose in blood with chromogranin in urine 5 hydroxy indol acetic acid next one cld patient so uh, you can see like uh, in git mostly they ask question from either ibd or cld so a cld patient present to opd with fever so first in the mcq cld patient with fever gross abdominal distension means there is ascites means whenever they use this word means ascites on abdominal examination tenderness is elicited ascitic fluid reveals presence of 500 cells per cubic mm what is the next best step so understand this thing like a patient is having ascites so i am having a patient so my patient is having ascites and now this ascitic fluid is having wbcs wbcs means this fluid is getting infected so when these uh, wbcs are uh, more than 500 and out of these wbcs if you see like polymorphoneutrophils they are more than 250 this is a case of spontaneous bacterial peritonitis so diagnosis will be sbp spontaneous bacterial peritonitis so how we manage this we have to give antibiotic and antibiotic of choice will be iv ceftriaxone is it clear large volume peritonitis means ascitic tap so you will not do tap because it is infected fluid iv albumin plus midodrin this we can use uh, in case whenever there is hypoalbuminemia and uh, octreotide again you can use in varices and sometimes we can use in hepatorenal syndrome so just try to understand this uh, again they can ask you a future mcq from this related topic like uh, what drug we use for prophylaxis of sbp okay just remember uh, for uh, i can say treatment of sbp the best drug will be cefotaxim cefotaxim this is the best drug if it is a uh, not the drug of choice is ifotaxim it if it is not available then uh, next best is we can also use ifotaxim but prophylaxis what we use we use norfloxacin for prophylaxis we use norfloxacin so these are again future top future question which they can ask in exam okay next is a straight forward question what you can see you can see this is 
स्टेट फॉरवर्ड इट इज डिफ्यूज इज ऑफ एजल स्पाजम सक्लेशिया कार्डिया विल हैव बर्ड बिग साइन कैंसर इज ऑफ एगस विल हैव रैक्टल अपियंस पर्सन डायटिकम विल नॉट हैव दिस पैटर्न सो वट वी कॉल दिस वी कॉल दिस लाइक डी ई एस और डिफ्यूज इज ऑफ फेजल स्पाजम सिंपल ओके मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट वन इन बोर्डिंग स्कूल मल्टीपल किड्स ईटिंग फ्रॉम सेम कैंटीन सो फर्स्ट कैंटीन द एम सी क्यू इज स्कूल बोर्डिंग स्कूल मल्टीपल किड्स ईटिंग फ्रॉम सेम कैंटीन सो वेन वेन एवर आई रीड यू हैव टू डू द सेम थिंग विच आई एम डूइंग वेन एवर एम सी क्यू इज कमिंग यू नीड टू थिंक वॉट इज गोइंग इन टू माई ब्रेन सो वेन एवर आई रीड दिस फ्रॉम द सेम कैंटीन मीन्स फीको ओरल रूट फीको ओरल स्प्रेड हैव साइमल्टेनियसली डेवलप सिम्टम्स ऑफ पुअर ओरल इंटेक जॉन्डिस एंड एबडामल पेन so again uh, when they see like this type of thing you will also see in practice so it's a case of hepatitis now they have mentioned like multiple kids so most common hepatitis in india is hepatitis a so it's a probably a case of hepatitis now when you see the option they are asking everything about hepatitis a so you can see igg hepatitis b virus we are ruling out so it is like most common hepatitis in children that is hepatitis a so you can see igm or igg so mostly it's an acute infection so what we test we check igm level so answer will be a hepatitis a is acute okay now uh, uh, comment on the diagnosis what you can see so uh, what you can see this is uh, what a pattern we call this uh, like you can see this niche so this patient uh, with this uh, pattern where we see this pattern we see whenever there is a stenotic in the pyloric area so whenever we see a stenotic so this is what we call we call this pyloric stenosis pyloric stenosis 60 year old male man has present with chronic projectile vomiting and significant weight loss so whenever they mention old age and weight loss it means it could be a cancer or uh, uh, like this uh, they are asking with the following electrolyte abnormality is seen so it's, it's a simple question like they are asking you what can occur with vomiting so suppose uh, if i make a stomach in front of you and in stomach what we have we have hcl so i am writing hcl like h positive plus chloride negative so because of vomiting you can see vomiting there is loss of h positive ion there is loss of cl so there is loss what will happen you will notice there is loss of h positive there is less loss of chloride ion then you can see there will be other electrolyte like uh, you can see potassium will also be gone so loss of potassium right and uh, even like uh, because of vomiting sodium will also be depleted so it can lead to hyponatremia we call it hypovolemic hyponatremia so so what we can see now see this question carefully so all options are almost similar so let us see it one by one hypokalemic hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis so loss of h positive ion means metabolic alkalosis with hyponatremia so this is the correct statement hypokalemic hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis with hypernatremia no so it's false because of hypernatremia hypercalcemia again false then you can notice hypomagnesemia can also it can also occur but remember a is a better answer so answer will be a for this case simple moving to next one 35 year old patient with ulcerative colitis so you can see a skin lesion this skin lesion again this is spotter in the exam so this is like an image based question they ask in medicine this is a case of pyoderma gangrenosum pyoderma gangrenosum and pyoderma gangrenosum it's a complication that we see in ulcerative colitis so answer is pyoderma gangrenosum okay when i talk about uh, venous ulcer so these are basically ulcers in the gaiters area atrium of migraines it's a complication of lyme disease and it's a nodosum this you can see like in many condition like it could be a side effect of certain drug so it can be due to drug side effect and even it can be seen in a patient of sarcoidosis so it is like a non specific manifestation which you can see in many condition atrium of nodosum moving to next one 3 year old child present with steatorrhea so first tint in the mcq steatorrhea steatorrhea means fatty stool when stool fat content is more than 7 weight loss and feature of mal absorption so again it's a case of mal absorption so whenever it is mentioned mal absorption how we make a diagnosis of mal absorption remember for any mal absorption syndrome the confirmation is done by doing biopsy so anywhere biopsy given now fecal elastase no benedict text for reducing substances no 
rectal mucosal suction biopsy or small intestinal biopsy. So malum's option basically affects your small intestine. So what, how do you make a diagnosis? A small intestinal biopsy and biopsy what you will get. In biopsy you will see like uh, there will be atrophy of villi. We call this a uh, villus atrophy. And sometimes you can see even hyperplasia of crypts and you can see like uh, infiltration of lymphocytes when it is uh, due to some autoimmune condition like celiac spru. Following is correct about cancer development in ulcerative colitis. So let us see this question. What is correct? So if you see this question, ulcerative colitis is not a pre-malignant. No, both are pre-malignant. So that's a wrong statement. Incidents depend on smoking history. Al, remember you for ulcerative colitis means it is un, we should uncancel smoking. Here smoking is protective. So incidence is not depending on smoking history. In fact, it is protective. Dietary related to duration of disease, so it is uh, a fair statement. That means uh, more disease duration, more severe will be disease. Increase risk in younger patient, no. So generally middle age uh, to old people, they are commonly affected. So disease, uh, like it is dietary related to duration of disease. So option C is correct. Mild to moderate Crohn disease, what is the drug of choice? It's a steroid. So remember in Crohn disease, what we give? We give steroids. So these are the DOCs. And when we say DOCs are steroids, so how you will manage this? In this case, what we give? So out of the given option, you can see only budesonide is steroid. Okay, moving to next one. Which of the following is true about carcinoid tumor? <clears throat> so let's see one by one. If you see, uh, occurs along structure of, structure derived from foregut. So you can see carcinoid in a foregut, a midgut, hindgut everywhere. Presentation is hypertension and diaphoresis. Yes or no? Carcinoid is secreting serotonin. Serotonin means 5-hydroxytryptamine. So serotonin or 5-HT, it is a vasodilator. So it will not cause hypertension. It will rather cause hypotension. So it's a wrong statement. Super. Intestinal carcinoid are of high malignant potential. So it can be in foregut, midgut, hindgut. So remember, it is also not true. Why? Because only midgut... So M for midgut, M for malignant, only midgut carcinoid are malignant, foregut and hindgut carcinoid, they are relatively benign. Best diagnosed by elevated urinary vinyl mendelic acid level, VMA level, no. How we diagnose? We diagnose this by VMA we use for neuroblastoma, we can use this for pheochromocytoma. For this in urine what we see? 5 hydroxy indolistic acids. So, these three are wrong statements. So, unfortunately, only one option is left. So, answer will be A. So, it can occur along the structure right from foregut. Even it can occur in, even in the structure originating from foregut, midgut, hindgut, everywhere. So, answer is A. Carcinoid. So, you can see that like uh, there are a lot of questions from carcinoid, right? Carcinoid tumor lead to increase in state of state for a question 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid 5 H I A A. Gastric cancer is caused by. Okay, let's see option. Squamous metaplasia. Uh, squamous metaplasia uh, means change of epithelia into squamous. So that is, in fact, I can say metaplasia into columnar is a risk factor, not squamous. Blood group O, no. Blood group O is a risk factor for, it's a risk factor of, risk factor of peptic ulcer disease. Blood group A is a risk factor for cancer. So how we write cancer? C A. So it is again a wrong statement. Intestinal metaplasia or hyperplasia. Now you have to choose one to understand both hyperplasia and metaplasia, they are malignant. Hyperplasia means increase in number and metaplasia means change in epithelia. So again, these two statements are correct, but we have to choose one because exam is saying you have to choose single best answer. So answer will be intestinal metaplasia. Metaplasia is more pre-malignant compared to hyperplasia. Most common site of gist, so just most common site will be stomach, without any doubt it is stomach. Okay, they can ask you like uh, a gist, so what type of mutation you can see, you can see secret mutation and they can ask you like what is the drug of choice in gist, it is imatinib, we use TKI. Okay, number uh, 427, next MCQ, a lady present with iron deficiency anemia and malabsorption. So understand this, iron deficiency anemia and malabsorption means some problem we are in the duodenum. Right, means it's a malabsorption that's affecting your duodenum. So what it could be? It could be celiac spru because of tropical spru will mainly affect jejunum. So it's so diagnosis I can say it's a case of celiac spru. 
सो हाउ यू कैन फॉर्म सिलेक्स प्रू एंटी इपिडर्मल टिश्यू ट्रांसक्लूटामिनेज एंटीबॉडी नो एंटी टिश्यू ट्रांसक्लूटामिनेज एंटीबॉडी येस दिस एंटीबॉडी वी यूज टू डायग्नोज दिस वी यूज टू डायग्नोज एंटी माइटोकॉनल एंटीबॉडी इट इज यूज इन पी बी सी प्राइमरी बिलेरी सिरोसिस और प्राइमरी बिलेरी कॉलेंजाइटिस वी यूज दिस सो नाउ वी हैव लेफ्ट विद टू ऑप्शन दिस बोथ ए एंड बी आर अवेलेबल टू मेक अ डायग्नोसिस आउट ऑफ दिस लाइक कमर्शियली द बेस्ट इज दैट वी हैव इज एंटी टी टी जी सो आंसर विल बी बी यू हैव टू चूज वन आंसर राइट अब पेशेंट प्रेजेंट विद सेंसरी अटैक्सिया क्लासिकल हिंट इन द एम सी क्यू सेंसरी अटैक्सिया मीन न्यूरोलॉजिकल इन्वॉलमेंट पैची लॉस ऑफ पैपिला ऑन द टंग सो यू कैन सी लॉस ऑफ पैपिल ऑन द टंग मीन्स वी कैन कॉल इट जोग्राफिकल टंग और फिशर टंग फर्स्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन वॉट यू विल डू मीन्स न्यूरोलॉजिकल इन्वॉलमेंट इज देयर न्यूरोलॉजिकल इन्वॉलमेंट मीन दैट इज सजेस्टिव ऑफ बी ट्वेल्व लेवल पंच बायोप्सी ऑफ एलियम इज डन नो तो फर्स्ट वी शुड मेजर सीरम बी ट्वेल्व ब्रश बायोप्सी ऑफ एलियम नो सीरम एंड स्टडी नो because uh, iron deficiency unlikely very rarely this will cause neurological impairment at sensory taxia lot of